Right now, here, tonight, uh, I'm going to perform a segment of the show that I truly believe has taken me around the world. Uh, as of today, I've been to 43 different countries, and next week I will hit number 44. And I uh, expect that that will continue to climb, and I truly feel it's for what you're about to see. Right now, all of you are going to think of something and concentrate on a thought that you have in your mind, whatever it may be, the name of a person, place, thing, name, number, and I'm going to try to figure out what it is that you're thinking. Now, not each and every one of you, but we'll get to a lot of you. So what I want you to do right now, if you have the ability to write down a word, phrase, or number, um, if you have a piece of paper somewhere, um, uh, receipt, jot it down. Now, we did hand out a bunch of index cards in the lobby. If you got an index card uh, in your possession, you're already set to go. You, you don't have to uh, worry. But if you have a cell phone, you can text a word or a number into your phone so you can see it. Now, one thing I'd like to point out. If you already have something written down or thought of or text in your phone, don't change it. Because if you change it, for a mind reader, that's like trying to hit a moving target. So I want you to stick with the very first thing that you have written or text or thought in your mind. Try not to tell the whole room or everybody around you, the table next to you, what you're thinking. I know it's very tempting to say, I'm thinking of poop. Let's see if he gets it. <laughs> I know it's tempting. But try not to share it with the whole room. Preferably, maybe only one person, maybe two at the most, but it's okay if you tell someone. Just don't tell the whole room. What I'm going to do is just jot down whatever impressions and thoughts come to my mind. If I say something that rings a bell to you, something related to your thought, and you think it might be yours, all I'm going to ask you to do is wave your hand like this so I can see where you are. You don't have to come on stage. You can remain in your seat, and I'm going to attempt to figure out specifically what it is that you're thinking. So everyone concentrate. If you have something written down on the back of a card or something, an index card, a business card, take it out, stare at it. If you have something in your phone, text it, look at it now. Concentrate. Stare. Think. Okay, let me start from the top. Where is the person with the initials CL thinking of a pet that they had in their past, particularly a horse? If that makes sense to you and that's your thought, please raise your hand. We're going to start there. Yes, here? Just stay in your seat, concentrate. Have you told anyone at your table what you're thinking or no? Just one, that's fair. Think of it now. Now, did you almost think of a different horse's name and then you went for this one or did you go right in for this? You thought of two? Yes. You thought of two, yes? Yes. Cool. What's your first name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Cynthia Ledlow. I'm from Austin, Texas. Austin. I love it down there. Sixth Street, I think it is. Yeah, Party town. Yeah. South by Southwest. Love it there. I'd like you to concentrate on your thought now. And you've only told one person this. And by the way, he doesn't believe that you're going to get this. Well, I, you know what, quite Frank, who, the, the gentleman next to you, we'll yeah. see. I don't know. Concentrate on it now. Think of it. You thought of two. I'm getting a letter H. Does it begin with the letter H? Yes. Keep thinking. She's freaking out. <laughs> I'm seeing almost like it's two words. I want to, because I keep seeing, is it something along, I want to, not bear, but boy. Are you thinking of a horse that you have in your mind named Honey Boy? Oh, my gosh. I'll take that as a yes. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> you can grab a seat. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> I'm sensing something right now, and I don't know where in the room this is coming from, but where's the person thinking of, where's the person thinking of the name of a street that they grew up on? If that's your thought, I believe the initials are HD or something close to it, if that makes sense. If that's your thought, uh, please raise your We have a gentleman right here. If we can get him a microphone right here, I think you have some fans. <laughs> you have friends. If you need a ride home, they're all in here. Grab that microphone. Just tell me your first name and where you're okay. from. Uh, Toronto. And your first name? Hanif. Hanif, think of it now. Concentrate on it. Have you told anyone around you, yes or no? No. So you should be the only person that... And you, the street that you're thinking of, again, just to clarify, I want to make sure that this is, not, this is something you grew up on or some, from your past. In other words, you don't currently live there, correct? Yes. Okay, so I couldn't look at your driver's license and figure this out. Concentrate on it. Uh, 
Okay, I'm getting something kind of visual. It's weird because I'm not seeing something related to, I usually get a street sign, but I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing a monument, or actually I should say monuments. Does that make any sense to you at all? Just tell me the name. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I can't pump him for information. I can't get anything out of him. He won't even give me a clue. I'll tell you what I'm thinking, and I'm going to cross my fingers because, um, it, oh, man, I'll just go with my gut instinct. I'm seeing the name of a city in my mind and not a street, but it's also a street, but more particularly a road. Uh, are you thinking of a place you lived on Cairo Road? I'm sitting down. Yeah, that's a yes. We got him. Keep it going. Come on. Let's keep going. Now, I know this is unbelievable. I know. It's, very, it's wild. I'm getting a sense of this. Where's the person, where's the person with the initials, I believe, C-G, thinking of something that they had to eat today? If that makes sense to you, just wave your hand. Is there a person? There's a person back here. I'm also sensing, where's a person thinking of their favorite movie? I believe their initials are J something, perhaps JW, I think it is, if that's your thought. There's a person here, too. So if we could get her a microphone, we'll go over here if we could get him a microphone. This is like call waiting. Everybody keeps beeping in. It's crazy. Oh, yes. Excellent, excellent. Here we go. Back here, just tell me your first name and where you're from. Celine. And where are you from? Montreal. Montreal. Concentrate on it now. Because I'm getting two things. Time out. She's beeping in. Right here. What's your name and where are you from? Jackie from Toronto. Jackie from Toronto. Think of it now. I'll tell you what, young lady, you can have a seat for a moment. I don't want you to keep standing. Concentrate here. Have you told anyone around you what you're thinking or no? Yes. How many people? One. Excellent. Think of it now. I'm getting a letter S. Does it begin with a letter S? Yes. <laughs> She's freaking out already. <laughs> Don't urinate wet yet, just wait till the end. <laughs> Here we go. I'll tell you what, I'm not familiar, I'm only getting two words. I feel like two words are really standing out in my mind. Something with an L and something with an S. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Think of those two words now. Yes or no in a loud, clear voice. Were you thinking of the words silver linings? Yes. Weird. Give her a round of applause for helping me. This is wild. Now, you know what? If you can, can you give her the microphone again? Uh, uh, now, I want to, you said your name was Jackie, correct? Yes. I don't know you personally, correct? We don't hang out together in Toronto. No. We're not related. Uh, I didn't pay you money to lie to everyone here. Uh, we don't date yet. <laughs> Correct? Not yet. All right. I want to point something out. I know how unbelievable this is, and a lot of people will say, oh, these people were paid off. They're part of his production. They tour with him. Or, oh, there's, there's uh, secret cameras hidden that can figure out what you're thinking and so on and so forth. If anyone in this room can prove that fact to be true, I'll give you $1 million. And that offer has stood for my entire career. No one here is a paid assistant or stooge, and no electronic devices are used in order to obtain this information. What you see is what you get. Concentrate. Everyone, think. Now's your chance. If you don't believe it, concentrate. We'll see if I can get your thought. Think. I keep, I keep getting honey boy. You can stop thinking now, ma'am. <laughs> and whoever is thinking of their ATM pin number, um, thank you. I'll meet you on the dimly lit sidewalk outside. <laughs> Concentrate now. Where's the person with the initials? It's either, I'm sensing either E-H or E-M. I'm not sure. Thinking of a time. A time. Raise your hand if that makes sense to you. A time. I think there's a hand in here in the darkness. If we could get a microphone over here to her. And again, if you do have it written or out, please hide it. I don't want you to think that the gentleman with the microphone has anything to do with this. Just tell me your first name, please, and where you're from. Liz from Toronto. Toronto. Welcome to the party. Um, have you told anyone around you what you're thinking or no? No, I've not. Excellent. Think of it now. Concentrate on it. First of all, is, I'm getting a weird sense. Is this the time your daughter was born? Yes. 
Now, you didn't write down time my daughter was born particularly, right? No. Concentrate on it. Is it in the 11 o'clock hour? Yes. Think of it now. Is your daughter here today or no? No. I wouldn't imagine so. <laughs> think of it now. And you haven't told anyone in the room yet? No. Okay, think of it, please. It's in the 11 o'clock hour. Is it 11 a.m.? No. I'm sensing then it's 11 p.m. <laughs> Am I correct? <laughs> You are. Is it PM? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Think of it now. One of my favorite numbers, I'm a, a big fan of certain sports players with this number. Was she born at 11.23 PM? Yes, she was. Fantastic. Give her a round of applause, please. It's crazy, right? I told you, this is, I surprise myself sometimes. Keep thinking. We'll do a few more, and then I'll move on. Something like this, I don't know what, I keep getting thing, and this, sir, I cannot say that. <laughs> There's just certain things I can't say in a show like this. All right, concentrate. Even people in the cheap seats in the back. Think. <laughs> think. I'm sensing now, I don't know what this is. Where's the person with the first initial of D, and they're thinking of their mother's middle name? If that's your thought, raise your hand. I hear laughter. That would be you. Excellent. We're going to come to you with a microphone. He will. And once he gets to you, I just want you to tell me your first name, and I'd like you to tell me where you're from. But don't give me any details about what you're thinking. Um, now, ladies and gentlemen, I know this is almost too incredible to believe. This is just a culmination of a lot of study and evidence of absolutely no social life. <laughs> so... Your first name and where you're from. Uh, my name is Denise. I'm from Vancouver. Excellent. Think of it now. Weird question. Does somebody in your family share the name with, the, uh, with, with your mother or not? Because that would help me get in your head if they do. No? No. Okay. Then I want you to just think of the letters and the spelling. Okay? Think of it now. This is extremely difficult, and I don't know why. I'll tell you what, does it, does it have four letters in it? It does. Because I'm getting four places. Was her middle name, is it middle? Like it sounds like a first name almost, but I'm going to go with my gut instinct. It was your, uh, 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 it's one of two. Was, is your mom's middle name Mary? It is. Oh, all right. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> It was either Marie or Mary, but it was, you said four letters, so I'm going to stick with it. It's weird, right? Let's keep going. I'll try a few more, and then I'll have to move on. If I don't get to you tonight, it's not because I don't love you. It's just, quite frankly, we don't have enough time to do a uh, thousand people. So concentrate. Where, I'm getting two things at the same time here. Where's the person thinking of the name of a car that was one of the first cars they ever owned or drove? If that makes sense to you. I don't know, initials, maybe J something, uh, if that makes sense to you, You're one of the first cars here. And also, remain standing, if we can get him a microphone, where's the person, and I won't say it out loud, because uh, I don't want the whole room to know, but where's the person that put down their phone number and their initial, I believe begins with the letter M, M something, perhaps MC, but I'm not sure, M, and you put your phone number down. If that makes sense, again, I won't say your phone number out loud, but if that makes sense, just raise your hand. Not the area code, but the first three begin with a six. Is there a, a person? Oh, here? If we could also get her a microphone as well. Give these gentlemen running around with the microphones a big round of applause, please. <laughs> They're getting their exercise tonight. I told these guys, I sprung this on them, I said, you guys are going to have to run around and I don't know where the people are going to be, it's whoever's thinking. So first here with the vehicle, your first name and where you're from? Uh, my name is John and I'm from Toronto. Toronto, a lot of folks from Toronto, excellent, think of it now. Now, again, just for clarification, uh, this is an old car, was it, uh, just answer this question, was it the very, very, very first car you owned or no? Yes. Okay, concentrate on it now. We'll also, often have an emotional connection with that very first car. Typically, men seem to especially have that connection, so it's, it's easy to kind of pluck things from their mind. But I'm getting that, again, there, there was like two cars in your mind that kind of flip-flopped for a second before you committed to this. Concentrate on it now. Here with the phone number, does it end in the number three? 
Does it end in the digit three? Yes. Keep thinking. Sir, think of it now. I'm getting a letter. I see the back. It's the emblem. It's a letter H. So it's either a Hyundai or a Honda. Am I correct so far? Yes, you are. Picture it. Was one of the windows broken in the vehicle at any point? Like it, it wouldn't work or it was broken? No. Okay. I'm um, trying to think. Did you ever crash the vehicle, God forbid? No. Not that you can recall. I'm trying to get emotional. Uh, let me just try to get it visually. Picture it in your mind right now. Yes or no in a loud, clear voice. Were you thinking of a Honda Civic? Yes. Cool. Give him a round of applause, please, ladies and gentlemen. Wild. That's weird. So we're going to try one more. The young lady here, just for the sake of time, because I have to move on, please tell me your area code. 905. 905. Think of the rest of it right now. Do you have your phone with you and turned on? Yes. Is it on ring or vibrate or... Vibrate. Could you do me a favor and grab your phone wherever it may be and turn it on ring? <laughs> and uh, yeah, just grab it and then once you have it, take your time. I'd like you to turn it on ring and I'd like you to turn the ringer all the way up to the maximum volume it can go to, please. Once you've done that, uh, just grab, uh, yeah, you got it, excellent. And could you please again tell me your first name? Mary. Mary, thank you, I need to know what to program in here later. Oh. <laughs> Mary, concentrate on your thought right now. I gave you. It was oh. 965 area code, you told me that much, the rest is for me to figure. No, 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 905. no. 905, sorry, no, yes, 9. No, I thought you meant my area code where, <laughs> no. That's okay, the wrong the, okay, let's skip let's this. Let's start again. This is very important. To, so if, if, if you don't know what you're thinking, I can't figure it out. <laughs> so it's all right. Let me ask you a question. The very first three digits to the cell phone that you're holding right there, the area code, the first thing that you would dial, not the main seven, but the area code. Um, what, what is the area code, please? 647. 647. 647. Think of the rest. I'm feel, I, now everyone's thinking of their phone number. Stop that. <laughs> Six, four, seven. Is the next digit after that also a six? Yes. And then a three? Yes. Keep thinking. I won't say the rest. Just think of it. I have tons of things flying by in my mind. Do me a favor. Just look at me for a moment. Think of the whole thing, one after another. Start with 647 and then complete it in your mind. Don't say it, just think it. Perfect. I'd like you to hold your phone up to the microphone. And ladies and gentlemen, cross your fingers. <laughs> hey, do me a favor. Answer that. And I want you to say, Wayne, you're amazing. Wayne, you're amazing. Wayne, you're amazing. <laughs> Let's give it up for Mary and everybody else who have participated in this evening's segment. Come on, give it up for them. Call you later. <laughs>